Hello and welcome to the 888.com Poker Ashes from Marlebone in central London. Now, as England and Australia do battle for the little urn, there is a scrap equally as intense taking place here as some of the most famous names in cricket don their poker faces to try and make as much money as possible for their chosen charities. Team captain Shane Warne and Darren Goff have assembled some great Australian and English cricketers, as well as internet qualifiers from the respective nations to battle it out for national pride on the Green Bays. Australia took the lead in the first test. Can England strike back? Let's quickly take you through the rules and the regulations of the 2009 Poker Ashes alongside a former England test cricketer, Ed Giddens, now turned poker presenter. But Ed, could you start with just telling us how this tournament format works? Sure, thanks Alex. Right, it's a five test series. Each test match will comprise four Australians and four Englishmen who's going to battle it out on the green bays. Now, there's a point system, so for the winner of each table, they will receive three points, the man who comes second will receive two points, and the man who comes third will receive one point. Boatloads of national pride up for grabs, without doubt, but in terms of hard money, what are these guys playing for? Well, there's $10,000 per test match on offer, and there's $8,000 for the winning team to donate to charity, and for the winner of each table, they get to donate an extra $2,000 to a charity of their choice. So let's get to the table. As I said, England need to bounce back straight away after Shane Warne's side took the first test. Jeff Thompson was in inspired form that day, but he's been rested for this one. Can England take advantage? Let's join our commentary team, Roy the Boy Brindley and Grub Smith. Our teams strengthened perhaps by two internet qualifiers, one from each country. They're sitting on the extreme limits of the table. Uh, they've gone through three multi-table tournaments to get here. That's Adam Clones, who's uh, from Melbourne, obviously playing for the Aussies in his yellow shirt. And right opposite him is Steve Falzen, a Liverpudlian. He's a software engineer and he plays 40 hours a week. So we're looking for some quality play from our qualifiers. Roy the boy, who do you fancy to win this one? 40 hours a week playing online, that makes him a sick puppy and he is there in my choice if he's got some experience, knows the time of day, does that much poker online, clocks up that many hands. In this field he should have a great chance. Steve Fausen is my man for England. There we go, well his chance is obviously doomed. Blinds at one and two. Shane Warne spins those cards back to the dealer. Min Patel finds himself again on Shane Warne's left. Gets out of the way. Nice, Adam. Welcome. The Welcome, fella. Adam. Welcome. He's brought the mallet back, which is great. And we are round to <laughs> Roy the boys' pre-match favourite. Also a little bit tight. First time under cameras. Could be tough for these qualifiers. Of course, our sportsmen well used to the glare of the millions. And any raise? No raise. No raise. No raise from Gladstone Small, and that's hardly surprising with a deuce nine. Nine, eight, Jack. Well, he's made middle pair. Check. Matthew Hoggard also with middle pair, but a better kicker. And that's a decent size bet there. Yeah, touchy feely. Let's find out where I stand. No point in checking this down. Well, no team orders, Roy. Yeah, well, quite possibly Gladstone thinks he's winning. Might just put his opponent on something like a 10. Thinks he's on a draw. Well, one thing is for certain, the chips will be staying with the England team. Everyone in an Australian shirt has abandoned ship. Check. 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 So it looks as though team order's back on. They're going to check this one down. Check. Well, if there's an Aussie in there, I think someone might have tried to bluff this one away, <laughs> representing a straight. But as it is, a pair of nines with a king kicker is good for Matthew Hoggard. Nice small pot there. That'll settle everyone's nerves. <coughs> this is a team sport, England against Australia, but our players are also representing themselves individually. The winner of the table gets $2,000 for their charity of choice. Suss him out, Adam. Work him out straight away. Two to play. Fold. Under the gun, makes a correct decision. And it's over to Steve Falzen. Two. Pass. Puts them in the shredder, Damien Martin. He came across as quite a tight, cautious player. Matthew Hoggard picks up with the big slick. 
<laughs> yeah, the first be. test, he was the first eliminated. His queens ran into a 10-4. Well, no messing with the ace king. Oh. And the seafood hand for Gladstone Small, the king crab. <laughs> Warney not tempted, and that just leaves Min Patel. He's very solid, this guy. England on England. To clap two proper hands as well. A classic Hold'em confrontation. The pair against overcards. And that's a pretty good flop for eights. Okay, King's got a lot of cards they can hit. Ten, King, Ace. will come back on them. Seven. Eight's are good. Eight. And this is team orders. These guys are playing very cagey oh, poker against each other in these early stages. They will, as the gas gets turned on, play a lot more aggressive, seeking the individual prize. But right now, England is playing England very slowly. I'm going in with 10-2 next year. Only one. Don't really matter. <laughs> Don't really matter. <laughs> Damien Martin only plays big hands. Two. Button raise here from Min Patel. That is positional, Roy. No. Yeah, he's got a good seating position. He's got two internet qualifiers to his left and he might recognize their yeah, players and unlike the likes of Jeff Thompson you know they will pass big hands and, and they'll wait their turn of course this hasn't worked out for him but I can see what he's thinking Continuation bet. Now this should work. Ten thousand into a twenty-five thousand pot, but how can his opponents call? They have nothing whatsoever. Ace highs. And although it's winning, very difficult for them to know and certainly difficult for them to call. Thousand gets out of the way. But Dean Jones, well with a back door straight and flush draw. Obviously knows something we don't. Oh, look at that. 5, oh dear, 5,000. Come on, man. 45,000 in the pot. Let's be serious. Well, perhaps that just looks like a worm dangling on the end of a hook or a bit of cheese in the mousetrap. But no, Min has seen through it. Makes the call. Still needs to catch a king or an eight to have the best hand. There it is. Five isn't going to be enough. Bonus. Min only has to show one card for Dean to know he's beaten. I think Dean Jones will go home, watch the video and realise if he got his bet sizes right, he would have got that one through. Yes, right idea, wrong amount. Doubtless Shane Warne will give him a talking to in the changing room. A 5,000 bet into a 45,000 pot does not do the job. 20,000 would have done and this guy would have been giving up the hand rather than taking down the pot. So it's going England's way, but this is early doors indeed. Min Patel out in front, 154,000 chips, a very healthy start from a very decent player. And he's played a very different game to what he played in the first test. He was very tight, very passive, very conservative. Here we've seen him make some moves, make some plays. Cards coming out, button in front of Steve Fausen of Liverpool. So the action will be on Dean Jones. Aggressive Australian middle order batsman. Put a few English bowlers to the sword in his time. I know, I'm looking at you. And he certainly doesn't like to fold. Even in bad position, he wants to play his king four off suit. Yeah, of course, bad position, you mean first to act or one of the early players to make a betting decision. Of course, the likelihood is someone behind you will have a far better hand, a hand they can raise with, and then your king four is no good. There's one of those hands. That's a group one hand. Big slick again. We're certainly seeing some monsters. Now, That's really, this guy should raise. Raise to 10,000. Good play. Good work, Steve. Like you're going. 
Enjoy. When you get out. <laughs> Martin and Hoggard out of the way. Cool. Dean Jones likes to call, but he is super dominated. Well, Dean Jones is in a doubly bad spot. First of all, his hands dominated. Secondly, he hasn't got his bet sizes sorted out yet, and you might try to make a bluff, but it's unlikely to be big enough. Oh, 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 oh. car that, crash. That really is awful luck for Steve Falzon. Top pair, top kicker. Oh. It's just a call. Steve Falzon could really do to see a seven here. Nine. He's still behind. Ten. He's drawing to an ace, a seven, or a nine if he makes this call. Little does he know, he, you know, he's got every right to suspect he's winning. There you go. Well, that's not a big enough raise, really. What information can he possibly get? Well, he, he still might think he's winning. You know, he, he's raised and been called. He thinks he's milking this pot. Six. Well, it's conclusive. Two pair is good. Ten. Cool. Cool. Come on, Dino. Let's flop over the nuts, mate. Big pot for Dean Jones. And Steve Fowles, when he sees this, is going to be sick. He's king. King four? How can you play that garbage? A nice, scowl on the face of Steve Fowles. We're not playing a computer now. <laughs> 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 oh, that's going to come back to bite you. That old one. That is. That's not you before. No, no, no. That has bit me too. <laughs> a jibe at the internet player there from Dean Jones. Steve Falzen says his favourite player is Phil Helmuth. I guarantee you Phil Helmuth would not have taken that beat in the monastic silence that the Liverpool man has treated it with. A quick look at the ranking of the hands shows us that right at the bottom of the ladder is high card with four unrelated other cards. Then a pair. Above that is two pairs. Fifth card means nothing. Then there's three of a kind with two unrelated cards. Better than that is a straight. That's five running cards in different suits. Above that, a flush. Five unrelated cards in the same suit. That can be beaten by a full house, three of a kind with a pair. Pretty good, but four of a kind tops that. It can be beaten itself by a straight flush. Five running cards in the same suit, in the right order, and then the big daddy of them all, the royal flush. The ten, jack, queen, king, ace in any suit. Unbeatable. Not, not just holding, but if you're talking about Omaha, all the other variations of poker. Ivy. Ivy's got seven bracelets and different events. Yeah, yeah. Passion, Joe's right up there, mate. Joe's one of the, he's only one of three players that's won. Rag ace there, and a limp from Min Patel. WPT, yeah, he's only one of three players. Strange enough, okay. Oh. This is good news for the Englishman, Steve Fowlson. Got his ace king turned over earlier. Got himself short stacked, and he needs to pick up some chips. Well, five times the big blind. He is not messing around. He might as well take out an advertising hoarding. I've got a big one. What about his hand? What about those queens? Very good, Roy. And now, Warney. He's found a suited ace. Cool. Now, yeah, this is even better for Steve Fowlson because there's an ace already out there, which has just gone into the shredder. So, Warney really is seeking one of the last two aces in the deck or a fistful of hearts. Steve Falzen, not a bad cricketer as a schoolboy, once took eight for six. And now he finds himself locked in combat with one of the greatest of all time. Good news for him is there's no ace on that flop. Well, the best news is if Shane Warren decides to make a play here, I don't believe Steve Falzen's going to pass. And rightly so. An immediate call from Shane Warren. Uh, this could be a stop and go plan. I call this now. I'm going to bet whatever this card is. Check. Check. He's checked again. It's another undercard. Thousands check. That's bizarre. Mm. Oh dear, dear, check. dear. He gave Shane Warne the free card, but it's been checked down. Brutal. Nice. Brutal. Mm. Steve Thousand, and his inexperience. They're not betting that turn. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to say that was very bizarre. I mean, really, Shane Warne calling the bet on that flop. Well, fortune favours the brave. Only two aces left in the deck, so let's, uh, let's stop and consider how lucky Shane Warne was there to catch up and hit the front. 
And Steve Falzon will not want to see any more good cards the way they're going. Well, after all that banter and all those chips flying in the middle, the guys have taken a well-earned break. We're going to do the same, and we'll see you in a couple of minutes' time. Welcome back to the Poker Ashes. Let's get you straight back to your commentators, Roy Brindley and Grub Smith. And it's round to Matthew Hoggard. Not interested with 810. These chaps obviously haven't been looking at the flops we've been getting. A raise once again from the aggressive Dean Jones, but this time Gladstone Small has got him in his sights. Well, Gladstone's lost a few chips, so really he should re raise here. He should try and make his opponent pass. Uh, you see, yeah, great to re raise. It's, it's not enough. Well, He's going to get called. Getting called may not be a disaster. He wants to create a monstrous pot or make his opponent pass. It's one or the other. As it is, he's going to get called. Can the Australians continue to be the recipient of the slightly better luck in this Ashes series? Or will Gladstone's ace king hold up? No matter what, even if I win, it still won't get me out. Jones stumped by you. And Dean Jones has flopped top pair. 43,000 in the middle. Re-raise all in from Gladstone Small. Wow. It's a total bluff. <laughs> Will it get past Dean Jones? Well, he's seen so many of those little 10,000 or 5,000 bets from Dean Jones, he's decided to give his opponent every chance to pass. But his timing's out because this time his opponent has top pair and a sizable kicker. This could be curtains for Gladstone Small. He's all in. He's going to have six outs, isn't he? Three kings or three aces. They have the cards left in the deck, which can help him. Well, he'll be praying for one of those or some sort of runner, runner straight. Gives him a pat on the back. This one's not over yet. Oh, it ain't looking good. Will England's bad luck in this Ashes series continue? It does two pairs for Dean Jones, and that has sent Gladstone Small back to the pavilion. Wrong time to make that bluff bet. Yeah, he's swimming through a shoal of sharks, and unfortunately, one just got a better hand and bit him on his backside. You've got to stay and watch him. First man out, an Englishman, Gladstone Small. Gladstone, ace king. Come on. Are you disappointed with yourself? I got excited. I was, I was playing with scraps to start with, and it was the first decent cards I got, so then I thought, ooh, chance to have a pot at Dino. I always love having a pot at Dean, Dean Jones when we used to play on the, on the green cricket plays, but so this time he, he didn't. That leaves us seven players, and the Australians have the edge. In our second test, at the top of the board, Dean Jones, over 200,000 chips, closely followed by his captain, Shane Warne. And the bad news for England is that the bottom two spots are occupied by English players. Things will need to turn around and turn around fast. Blinds have gone up to two and 4,000. Still relatively small compared to the stack sizes. There's only three of them left, eh? Again, oh, Action is going to be on... Damien Martin, Silky Batsman, doesn't play too many cards at a poker table. Matthew Hoggard creeping in with the suited connectors and Dean Jones, what do you know? He thinks he's running hot and he'll raise with pretty much anything. King seven off suit, Roy. Yeah, he's a bit of a fly in the ointment, isn't he? But I like the fact that he's got a few chips now, he's playing a few hands or playing every hand yeah this is what you need to do when you've got chips you you can be table captain you can be the bully you can make things happen safe in the knowledge you can't get knocked out Steve Falzen may be considering an all-in shove here he doesn't fancy it after all and we are down heads up Matthew Hoggard against Dean Jones Dean Jones the Jonah of the table sinking a few people and everybody has missed that one. And Dean Jones is king high. Well, that's a big bet. That's the size to get a bluff through. And of course, this isn't a bluff. The king is winning. Well, no way Matthew Hoggard can call this one. He gets out of the way. And kudos again to Dean Jones. 
A very, very pugnacious batsman and a very, very pugnacious poker player. He is uh, making mincemeat of England at the moment, Roy. Yeah, I don't think they know where he's coming from. And he's knocking them in every different direction you can imagine. Hello, my name's Dean Jones, my nickname is Dino, and my favourite cricket experience is winning the Ashes in Old Trafford in 1989. And then again, we beat England in 1987, the World Cup, and we beat England in 91. So many. I like to trash talk a little bit. I like to get under their skin, you know, remind them how many times they've lost so many things over the years, England. This won't be any different. When you wear the, the flag on the, on the old collar here and, and whatnot, it's, uh, it's pretty important. And I no doubt if we lose, which I don't think will happen, the boys on the road, they'll remind us. So it's, uh, it might come to blows later. Button in front of Adam Clones, and it's Matthew Hoggard. He evacuates. Oh, four. One more. Sorry, pardon me. Dean Jones just calling this time with the King Three. Min Patel, England's greatest hope, gets out of the way and he'll be happy he did so because Adam Clones has aces and Steve Fousand could be about to get squashed. He's found ace 10 suited, he's made his move. He's been quite luckless, hasn't he? He's the shortest stack at the table, you know, he's doing what he's got to do and he's just unfortunately done it at the wrong time. Three hands he's played now, Queens, ace king and now an ace 10 and you would suspect this one is going to result the well, same way as the last two did. Dean Jones must think he is made of kryptonite because he's calling a raise and a re-raise with King 3 offsuit. Good luck, Stevie. Good luck, mate. I mean, there's one, running hot is one thing, Roy, but bonkers is another. They're still going to be betting on the side. Teammate on teammate. Maybe you should take up cricket. This would be quite funny if Dean Jones tries to bluff... Uh, Oh, two diamonds! That gives Falzon a chance. Now, this is the big question. Has Dean Jones got any idea what the score is here? It would appear he has. He's checked. There's the big hand, the aces, but it's a flush draw could do him. You now? Oh. You bet it, and I'll wipe you out. Well, as long as it's not the three of diamonds, a diamond would do for Falzon. Oh, it's not going to happen. Flip him over, boys. And that is checked down between the Australians. Thousand missed. Dean Jones should never been in the pot. Had ample chance to make two pair. Didn't. The aces are good. And I am afraid we have lost the second English player from this test match. This is horribly nostalgic for those of us who watched the Aussies. More like reminiscent, yeah? Well... Wasn't saying it was a happy memory, but certainly I've seen enough Aussie attacks send our batsmen ducking and diving back from whence they came. I'm hopeless going back the other way. Because you go home. Under the gun with 9 7. Gets out of the way. Adam Clones. Well, he's shown a fondness of playing rag aces, but not this time. Now, once bitten, twice shy. You would imagine, well, this is blind on blind, and that means it's Australia on Australia. Dean Jones has found a genuine hand again. Check, 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 check. Didn't raise with it, and he's let his captain creep in with also a decent hand, King 10. Heads up, both very viable, and look at that. I checked it. But Shane Warne not interested in pressing home the advantage. This is going to be checked down. It's about ability to play disciplined cricket when under pressure. It is all very, very friendly. They're only interested in winning English money. It's worth bearing in mind that there is a prize for the individual winner of each game, $2,000. The Aussies are playing for the Shane Warne Children's Foundation. Adam Clones has picked up the kangaroos. He makes a classic three times the big blind raise. Everybody getting out of the way and just Min Patel to make the decision. 
And he calls oh, with the sixes. Through. This could be ugly. Surely not another Englishman heading back. Oh, oh hello. Well, it's good and bad because Min Patel's got a monster, but the ace will really, really slow down Adam Cloens. And he's bet 20,000 here, but you suspect he wouldn't do much more damage, surely to goodness. And excellent uh, grimacing there by Min Patel, trying to look as though that was a crying call. 20,000. Check and check. Yeah, Adam Cloens will not put Min Patel on a set of sixes, but he's probably putting them on an ace, and they're in. Small bet here from Mint, 66 in the pot, but about 20 could get paid. There are 5,000 apiece, those chips. 55. 55,000. Too big. We're just about to find out no, no, how much you like the kangaroo on the emu now. <laughs> 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 I reckon he's got the ace, and if he's got the ace, he's got the beat. So, despite of what I got, I'll fold. Pass. Ooh, well played, Min. No ace, mate. I'm not sure you didn't have the ace then, I don't know. <coughs> well, this, they tell me this man has played before. Okay, Dina. He came Dina. out very aggressive, right? Dina. Hey. Hey. Steady on, Tiger. That's six, okay? That's six is fine. 8,000. Where is it? 8,000. Well, I'm just going to have to have a play. Oh, here we come. Uh, mm, pocket aces. It, mm. it, it shows Sorry, statistically that he, uh, yeah. he wins most Pass. of his own plays. Raised. Oh, 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 there yeah, we go. Below. What about the teammate? Or? Mm, no, no, raised. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Something tells me <laughs> Dean Jones ran a few people out in his time as a cricketer. Doesn't seem to respect the team ethic. 20,000 to 12,000 more. Oh. Adam Clone's oh, sensible enough to get out of the way. Well, regret. <laughs> well, it's Aussie on Aussie. And with a bit of luck, one of them could be sent home at the mercy of their teammate. That's all you're going to get. That's all kind of posture. Let's get rid of him. I'm sure. That's what you'll think. Damn, Aussie. I'm not taking dinner down now. Check him down. Five. That's a full straight. Well, Dean Jones has gone in front. Doesn't bet his pair, though. I need some chips there, though. Jones picks up a straight draw, doesn't bet it. Aussie's being nice to each other again. So, tens and nines better than tens and sevens. I wouldn't do it. I'm just about to jump out of my chair. Yeah, you get me. Nines and tens. Nine. Do you want a loan? <laughs> and Matthew Hoggard, not far short of what he started with, and he's playing a sensible game of poker. Well, here's one thing with Dean Jones, when he picks up a proper hand, no one believes him. Two over cards. with it. Well, that may be his tell. He seems to raise with rubbish and uh, slow play the big hands. I remember that in the first test. Shane Jeff Moore. Thompson gave everybody a playing lesson. Shane Warne obviously getting bored of being out of the limelight. He wants to play Jack Six, Min Patel, similar with Jack Eight. Now, this is not desirable if you sat there with a pair of queens, multi-way pot. Well, there are going to be four of them. We're going to see the next three cards. Okay. Position though. Come on. Dean Jones regret it. Well, he may get paid here. Warren and Patel have made a pair of hooks, <laughs> but the Queens are still good in front of Dean Jones. And Damian Martin shows his glass, passes up. 15,000. My nine high can't be good, I'm gone. And Patel trying to define this hand. Dean Jones thinking, you've probably got a king, but I'm going to call anyway. Good value for me. Warney calls us a little bit loose. Yeah, he's thinking oh, I might catch a six. Right card over, Could I bring it down? Up and down. Uh, I don't mind no that. good for Warn, but that gives a straight draw to I Dean Jones as well. Yeah. Still checking it. Check. Min Patel. Well, he can smell a rat. Oh, Shane Warn. Warney got that. 
30,000. Jacks and sixes. No way Warner's putting this down. No way. 111 in the middle. Nearly getting four to one on this, Roy. Yeah, these two are teammates, and yet you really sense that Dean Jones is really flying solo. Chip movement here, and the loser is going to be Min Patel. Yes. Min correctly says his jack is no good. And Shane Warne has rivered Dean Jones. From an English point of view, that's a disaster. Shane Warne, probably a more capable custodian of those chips. That lady's hurt me all night. <laughs> What's new? I always do. Yeah. Hmm. So many dangerous things out there, then. Tell me what. There's so like dangerous cards out there. You were stiff not to miss, yeah. Hmm. Jesus. You had any queen, any ace, any nine. Dean Jones. How any two? He any two? Oh, monster. Oh. Ace four. They call that the blind man's aces because sometimes when you peel back the cards, that four looks like another ace. Um, Eight thousand is what it is. Oh, is it? Pardon. The blinds are four. Oh, okay, cool. Sure. Thirty. It's a call. Call. A call from Dean Jones. One call. So Shane Warne's in there. Was it the other way I'm starting to think the Aussies have decided that, you know, let's all play the pot because three Aussies against one Englishman, no matter what he's got, you know, we're a strong favourite. Well, once Damien Martin starts calling with Queen 5, I'd have to agree with you there, right? Because he was folding pretty much everything earlier. Now he wants to get involved from the small blind. And he's hit a Queen. Now the alarm bells should start going off in Matthew Hoggard's head. Yes, he's got middle, play, middle pair, but he's got a weak kicker and the tightest player on the table has bet out in first position. Well done, Matthew Hoggard. Yeah, good pass. Ace four useless, but Dean Jones might fancy a call. That's too much even for Dean Jones, and wow. that's saying something. Warney's got middle pair and yeah, bottom no, pair. Yeah, Warney's, you know, he's made two pair on occasion, hasn't he? You know, he's rivered a six or seven in this kind of spot, so but not this time. No, gives Martin the respect. And can Hoggy induce Damien Martin to show his cards? No, he can't. Worth bearing in mind that Matthew Hoggard has less than 60,000 chips now. So he will be feeling the hot breath of necessity on the back of his neck. He knows he's going to have to make a move soon. He's a decent enough player. But to act now, the best player on the table, Shane Warne. Can he get a customer? Oh. The answer. That's the answer. A resounding yes. Well, this could be a disaster for Min Patel. Just a call. And a disaster, of course, for England. If Min can't on, get away up. from this, Come on, Dino. England will be left with yeah, just exactly. one player. We're doing okay. Dino's in the uh, in the middle of this against yeah. queens and aces. Yeah. Dean Jones with three five. Ten thousand. Bottom pair is worth ten thousand. Raised to thirty-five thousand total. Now, not in a million years can Min Patel think he's losing this pot to an over pair. And Damien calls just again. Oh, Dean Jones is going to plumb in. Dean Jones may have lemming blood. The world's gone berserk. I mean, Patel probably still thinks he's winning. Well, he certainly won't be afraid of Jones, but he knows Damien Martin is tight. Oh, look how big the pot is. 
90,000. Suicide. All in? Min says all in, and this is going the way the Australians would love it to go, because I cannot see Damien Martin laying down the bullets. Well, safe to say he's not been conventional the way he's played them. Also safe to say there's no good grounds for him to pass them. The only good news is Min Patel may have more chips left than Damien Martin. How much is that? It's 106,000 in total. And if wow. Dean Jones calls, there could be a decent side pot. OK, Min now knows he's in trouble. <coughs> Dean Jones, his work done. He stoked it up. He's got out of the way. And this is ugly. Kings. Well, big pot considering both players have just one pair. So pretty mighty pairs. Two outs for Min Patel. Two outs for England, or else it is going to be a massive advantage to the Australians. They're already one test up in this series. This will be a crippling blow to England's ambitions. If Min goes, well, you can see he's got a few chips back, but he would be crippled with just 38,000. Oh, just to say thank you very much, Marto. Well played. What well up, Marto? Well played, actually. Well played. Well played. Stop in. Yep, nice. Nice one. Oh, throwing it at you, Marto. Oh. And now there was. Now you were complaining about five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just trying to. Only takes one big hand. Yeah. Someone else to get it. Turns around. And eight minutes. Amazing how many times I said before. I was saying, Marto. This one's amazing how many times kings, it's like raise, re raise, re raise, all they call oh, kings aces. and aces. Yeah, that's like 220 to 1 in the triangle, and it happens so often. Mm. Shane Warne out in front, 251,000, and after that big win over Min Patel, Damien Martin in a very solid second. But look at that one, two, three, four, all Australian down at the bottom of the English. They were 800,000 chips when we started this table. Between the two of them, the English have got less than 130,000. Trouble. That buzzer must be close to going up to the blind level again, is it? Yeah. Must be just about there, that's what I'm saying. It's coming back around. He calls that a good time again. 8,000. Bold. Loves trapping with them big ones, eh? Trapping with the kings. I raised the 20. But Matthew Hargard starts raising, and why not? Ace Jack. Is that going to be enough to get past Shane Warne? Well, he's done the hard bit. He's got past Dean Jones. Ooh, this is going to be a confrontation. That one he should shove here. Look, I've got a mountain of chips. You've got virtually nothing. I'll give you a chance to pass. Just a call. Mm. Just a call. Wants to see a flop, but you're right. The coin would have been in the air. Classic Holden. The under pair against the overcards. Hoggy, a slight underdog. And no help there. Big underdog. All in? I call. Cool. <laughs> oh. Could we be seeing yet another English player? Well, Hoggart, a wing and a prayer. <coughs> Need running cards for a straight. <coughs> Running cards for a flush, or the ace, or the jack. Well, that's good. A jack, a queen, or a heart, or an ace. Actually, I want seven, 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 seven of hearts. Seven of hearts, seven of hearts would seven give Warney the, the full house. Ace is good. And queen wouldn't the have ace. A huge sigh of relief for the English team. Yeah. It really did look like a bloodbath was about to happen because with just the one player left, the best we could have hoped for, Team England, yeah. the draw as it is, we've still got some fresh hope. Yeah, that was like a close run out decision, referred upstairs. And Hoggy got his bat in with a, a second to spare. Matthew Hoggard, nicknames Hoggy. Most bold in a cricket highlight would be winning the Ashes in 2005. I've entered one life tournament before, but I managed to win it. 
So beginner's luck or absolute genius level, don't know yet, you'll decide. I've got lots of different moods when I'm playing. I'm either really, really reckless or very careful. Uh, not a lot of in-between, so watch out. The person I'd really like to knock out has got to be their captain, um, Shane Moore. Um, he's talking a lot of good game. I'm sure he plays a good game. And um, I'd like to, to beat him with um, a 4-3. Obviously there's going to be a lot of trash talk and everybody's going to be trying to tell each other that they've got great hands and when they actually haven't, so it's just a matter of uh, making sure that your hand's up to scratch really. I'm always confident. I'm not confident that I'm going to do too well, but I'm going to enjoy it. Action is going to be on Adam Clones. <coughs> he is not interested. And it is our chip leader. Doesn't like 10 5. Hoggy folds them like they're on fire. Just a call, Dino. And Dean Jones. Deciding to join the party with a suited King 3. Shane Warne, slow playing the ace queen. Oh, hello. This could be fun. This could actually be very good news for Mimba Tout. Because I suspect Shane Warne's going to call here. Yep. Shane has got 180,000. Min's got about 70. And it's a very big hand that's extremely well disguised. Well, is Dean Jones going to call is the real question. Dean has shown an ability to call with pretty much anything. Now, Warney wants to move all in now. Warney wants to move all in. I mean, you know, it's common sense. Th this is classic. Run out by your teammate. He will not be happy. No, and the pot's too big for him to get involved in it, although he really should do. Oh my goodness. Holy moly. That is the nut flush <laughs> for Dean Jones. <laughs> well, there you go. It well, says 3% on the screen. What are we looking for? Well, an 8-8. Eight, eight. A jack. Jack, jack, ace, ace, 2-2, two, two, you know, full house, you know. <laughs> and Min Patel already standing up and reaching for his poker ashes jacket. Oh, Ooh, no, OK, jack. prospects, 9%, a two or a jack. A jack or a deuce, can he do it? Ooh, no, the dream, I'm afraid, dies. And you really can't blame Min Patel for that one. Dean Jones is, as Jeff Thompson was in the first test, an absolute force of nature. What you dream of them, Dino? Sorry? Absolutely dream of flops like that. King three against the jack and flops are nuts. And we're in the same spot as we were in the first test. England, at best, can only draw outnumbered four to one. <laughs> Min, how can we stop this Australian barrage? Well, for one, uh, hopefully our premium hands when we get them in uh, hold up. You know, I had my jacks in at the end there against Dino. King three, happy to see that. And, you know, flops the joint, flops the nut flush, what are you going to do? You know, so um, being unlucky, uh, you know, other game, Oggy got done, Queens against the 10 4. And so we, they're just, we're getting sucked out horribly at the moment. Well, as you can see, the players have taken a quick break here at the 888.com Poker Ashes. We're going to do the same, and we'll see you on the other side of this. I love that stuff. <laughs> the other thing is what you end up doing is 
bit rid of so big responsibilities on the Yorkshire shoulders of Matthew Hoggard is he man enough to do it Roy I certainly hope so he did say before this game we had a bit of a chat and he said my plan is to sit tight do nothing when the blinds go big I go crazy let's just hope he finds a few cards and his crazy maneuvers come off because he's outnumbered four to one Dean Jones has found King Jack And Dean, you can tell, is here to win for himself as well as his country. Yeah. Yeah, now, would it be an advantage for England here for the Aussies to start knocking themselves out, Roy? You know, we saw it happen in the first test. Let's just pray it happens in the second. Do I really want to, do I really want to play against you? Bye-bye. Do I really want to play against you? For fun, I do. <laughs> How much is it? Okay, no worries, Mario. 37? <laughs> no worries. Well, 30. Okay. okay. Just doesn't know how to play board again. Yeah, okay. And right. Dino's in as well. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No worries. God. Well, what do you. If you well, start, we're supposed to. He's done it. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Good point. Good point. Yeah. Yeah. Good good point. Good point. Yeah. How much more? Good point. I could have just. No, I had to put in seven. More in. Yeah. I could have just put in seven. Yeah. Just got to be fun, though. You guys are just meant to fold. Not meant to call. That's getting late, mate. Jesus. I'm way behind you both. Let's now. see what cards come out on this flop. Queen, six, two, four, well, seven. plenty of nothing there. No player has a bat. This guy's got all the respect. Damien Martin bets the boys would run, surely. He was going to bet then, too. Oh, no. three queens. That changes nothing. The ace king still in front. What was this I saw yeah, you started with it. you got to take a hit for the team. Check. 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 I think I can't win, Mato. I think you take no. the cash. Damien Martin will show the ace king once again. He will be cementing his reputation for only playing powerful cards. If he could sum up a few bluffs, Roy, he could really clean this table out. Yeah, Matthew Hoggard's looking on thinking, what chance have I got? These guys here. Three four handed in a pot, you know. I've not got to beat one opponent, I've got to beat the entire table. Yeah, this is like being a night watchman with four Australians in the slips, giving you a whole load of verbals, a bumpy pitch, fading light, and a fast bowler steaming in from the far end. It must be pretty lonely for the Englishman out there. He knows he has to win this heat. No point coming second, no point coming third. No guts, no glory. Yeah, trouble is he's in third position in the chip standings. Has four opponents to overcome. Everything is against him. The Australians can almost call for fun. I think that's what we're going to see. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Dean Jones hoisting the white flag against his teammate. Sorry, that's all right. I saw him throw it. No, 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 no. Here we go. Where's it all in now? Eight, five, two. That's a raggedy yeah. looking flop. Yeah. Yeah. For a hand that Dean Jones didn't want to play. He's in front. <laughs> You've already hit a pair, haven't you? You've already got a pair as well. Shane Warne is reading him like a book. My fives are good then. Oh, still haven't got a pair. Four, five, three. You haven't got a six, though. Huh? I check. Oh, sorry. I'm going to check. Check, check. 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 All right, king high. Oh. King. I told you you had a pair already. Yeah. I said you got a pair yeah. already. You said yeah. no, you didn't have a pair. to the captain. I said oh. you had a pair. I said you hit as well. You've got a pair. Yeah. Well, there it is. He has decided to make a raise, and he's done it at the wrong time because Dean Jones has picked up a premium hand, pocket jacks. And he will have Matthew Hoggard over a barrel. And another, aces. And another 10. 20, sorry. Is it 50 with 50? Oh, is it? One for the tournament director to sort right, out here. Right, right, Slightly stringy That's raise cool. there yeah, from... Dean Jones, and it's just going to go down as a flat call. Well, it's about picking your spots this game. Matthew Hoggard certainly hasn't. First to act, he decided to throw out a stonking raise. 
Oh. Which was very bizarre. They normally did that in a late position rather than the first person to act. Damien Martin having to put on his thinking cap. 38,000 to call. He's got ace queen. He should call here just to get rid of the Englishman. Patriotic to the end. And this will make it that much harder for Hoggy to walk away with the chips. Cool. And remember, if he goes, England are doomed to lose the second test. He needs a miracle. Miracles can happen. Three, queen, five. Well, it's a start. He's made a five, but of course Martin has the queen. He can only move in. <laughs> he's got to move in. He's going to get called. But he can still hit a five or a nine. Now Hoggard will hate this because he knows how tight Damien Martin is. Saw him consider before making the call cool preflop. He'll know that there is a queen. Certainly better than a five in the hand of the player to his right. And he makes a fold, but that leaves him very much on the edge of the precipice, Roy. Damien Martin will now know he's in front with all this lip chewing from the normally fast and loose Dean Jones. But he makes the call 100,000 chips. Hoggart really should be in this pot with his pair of fives in the hope he did a five or a nine because it's monstrous now. Well, he's content to watch from the sidelines. Yeah, he's also crippled in chips. Well, where there is life, there's hope, but he will certainly need to get extremely lucky. Let's see whether the Aussies can do themselves some damage. Can they get shot in the foot? That eight makes no difference. There's a difference. <laughs> How much is it? Whatever. I'll go that. <laughs> Just say all Damien all Martin say says, all I will put you all in, Dean Jones. And who'd have thought Dean Jones would be leaving this table before Matthew Hoggard? Ozzy's knocking out Ozzy's again. <laughs> Over 400,000 chips in the middle. This is going to make Martin bulletproof unless Dean Jones can find one of the two remaining jacks in the deck. Turn them over. On their backs. On your Very good, Dana. Turn oh, Jack. jacks. Queens oh. and aces. You're not dead? Yeah, I'm dead. Dean Jones, well, he's an action player. And there is no rabbit in the hat. Oh, for so long, Dean Jones, as luck had all the recognition it deserved, but towards the end, skill took its place, took its part, played its role, and it sees him walking out of the door. He who lived by the sword died by it. At last, we have an Australian in the dugout here. Dean Jones... <laughs> you're, you're against the tightest player on the table there. What were you doing calling all your chips with uh, with second pair? Well, it's just one of those things. I, I think I learned it with the way Jeff Thompson played in the past test, but I think the game's about attitude. It's very similar to cricket, really. And I've, if you take them on early, I got some chips early and got a bit of, better, uh, bit of a bank up. But um, I really enjoyed it this time. I, I sort of took guys on a bit more. And, you know, I got beat, but, you know, I hurt a few guys early. <laughs> Out in front with a massive chip lead is Damien Martin, Captain Shane Warne, comfortable second, Adam Clones in third, but right at the bottom with really only about three big blinds left is Matthew Hoggard. Nice, <laughs> We're out of bath back time, he's making a decision. 
You knew if you didn't do anything, you're in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't show you said instantly, you knew you were in trouble. I couldn't see that far, could he? Just as soon as he looks like it. Then he used to look at square leg and a... Mm. You know, oh, trouble. Oh. 16 for Blake. Pass, 16. Oh. Adam Clones folds from the button. Eight more. Damien Martin should push with this ace, Roy. Yeah, he's got a raise with it. Of course he doesn't. Yeah. Any raise? No. And no he is raise. letting Hoggy in free. Unexpected bonus this. Now, can he catch a two or a five? Jack, Jack, nine. Can he bluff? Jack. Well, I don't think he has enough to bluff. Chips. Even though <laughs> Damien Martin is a very tight player. 38. We haven't seen that from Damien Martin before, betting with no hand. Well, that as it was, his ace was good. Maybe he should have just raised pre flop, got the job done there and then. And the net result is bad news, more bad news for Team England and for Matthew Hoggard. Bit of a limp, aren't it? To play. And the action is on Adam Clones, the it. internet qualifier. On big long this guy's been quite solid and steady, hasn't he? He really has played the team part. <laughs> he bumps it up to 32,000 with the pocket threes. Hoggard's going to call here, isn't he? Oh, well, he should do. Well, I might not get a better hand. There you go. You might not get a better hand. Good shout. He's going to like the outcome. I think he might... Might actually be 50%, 49% around that kind of mark against the pocket pair. Shane Warne. Two other cards that are suited. Well, Shane did fold a king, which will affect the odds just a little bit. But Hoggy has the overcards. Hey, you're winning I'm, not, at the moment. I'm not strong, but I'm prepared to strong at this stage. Let's see what a fickle finger of fate has in it. Store for Matthew Hoggard. We have had a flush all day. Clubs have been no, nice. there's a flush. There's a two. There's, there's the king. The king. The king. Oh. Matthew Hoggard leaps out in front. Oh, Shane oh, Warne yeah. must be oh, kicking yeah. himself because he could have been coming oh, yeah. in for the king. It would have been cheap. It would have doubled oh, Australia's yeah. chances of getting rid of Hoggard and yeah. guaranteeing yeah. a whitewash at this table. And you can see he's disappointed. So now. It'll have to be a three for Adam Clance. Yeah. Just dragging it. It's like Steve, Steve Bucknell umpiring. Oh, that was a close one. Steve Bucknell umpiring. Yeah. Guess what? Uh, Damien passed a two. Not need to see a three. Oh, and a three. Oh. Lee, there we go. Oh, you beauty. Yeah. Oh. oh. Hoggard oh, has doubled through. I think I would have won that. And not only has he doubled through, <laughs> Grubb, he's taken the chips off the short stack at the table. That means Adam Clonus is in dire trouble now, down to about 14, 15,000 chips in front of him. It could simply be three on one. It's not great, but it's a lot better than four on one. 30,000 is his stack. Adam Clones, Pass. Queen 5 suited on the button, passes. So now, battle of the blinds. Damien Martin, tightest player on the table, and that is not a strong hand. 58. But look at that. The leopard has changed his spots. Damien Martin raising with rags. And this could be a brilliant Ooh, coup. Nice well Marta. played, Damien Martin. Come on, just show us a bluff, Marto. Show us no. some sort of bluff. Aces, mate, aces. Look at that graphic. You can barely see Matthew Hoggard's slice of the pie. One percent of the chips on the table are his. He is really in trouble. If you get a seven first card, it's two to one. And if you get another seven, it's three to one. If you get three seven, it's ten to one. Hoggard is all in, blind. Ten to one. So he doesn't even need to look at his cards. No decision to make. Now the Aussies here should all call and then check it down. There's a side bet going Four on. against one. That's one in. 
Well, Adam Clones hasn't read the script. So Hoggy will only have to get on. past two <laughs> of the Australians. I'm going to surprise you. That's the spirit, Hoggy. Being on the side. We don't see. I'm not sure there will be a lot of betting on the side between the two Australians. I've got a six under here. Oh, a seven. I've got a seven two. I'm winning with seven two. Hello. There's a seven. Oh, sorry. Are you checking? What are you doing? Checking. Check yeah, I checked it. And the Aussie boys are going to slow play this till the cows come home. Well, we can't see Warney's cards. I doubt he's got a six there. King ten. They're all checking on. Well, Hoggy is favourite. <laughs> Matthew Hoggard has hit his seven. Yep. Going in with the worst of it, come out in front. Needs to dodge a king, ten or jack. Oh. Check. 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 Now a nine, nine as well. Five. Oh, king, ten. You're winning. Depends if I've got an S. Oh, oh. Three diamonds, check. Check. And really, check. poor check. Matthew Hoggard has been hit with a stick all day oh, long. Oh. And Shane Warne has with rivered him two pairs. Oh. Tens and sixes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Warney's different gear, isn't he? Guilt edged. And what that means is that England have lost the second test in the 888 Poker Ashes. 2 0 down in the series. <laughs> well done, team. Well done, team. Good work, team. Good work. Now, we, uh, now there's no funny, funny games. Yeah, they've been going in with some very unreasonable hands and being very lucky so it's got to change at some time and hopefully um, we can pull it out of the fire and make sure that we make um, a good spectacle of the, the next test. Cards out, there's just a big blind because Matthew Hoggard was sitting between Damien and Shane. With me, I gather. Damien Martin, first to act. He's got the Doyle Brunson. Doesn't fancy it. Perhaps not a student of poker history. Shane Warne not messing around. A short stacked opponent next to him. Adam Clones. And that is more blood for Shane Warne. <laughs> I fancy Warne can win this, you know. I really do. I think heads up against Damian Martin. He's going to show a lot more aggression. Okay. Yes, Damien may be slightly handicapped, although we did see a couple of blasts from him earlier. Shows that he does have different gears to his game. And I'm sure he'll relish the chance to put one over on Warney. You get the sense, brags about his poker skills to the fellow Australian team members. Which he would find somewhat irksome. Well, Warne has the button this time. He'll be first to act. I'm all in. Wow. And no subtlety there from the king of spin. All that's going to look, yeah, yeah, it's cold. I was going to say that that's going to look um, a lot weaker than what it is. Clones and Martin both have aces. And their second cards are both under a 10. <laughs> Warney would love Damien Martin to get involved. Is that Ferrari? What's a Ferrari? <laughs> Not made too many mistakes, Damien Martin, thus far. Well, either way, I think. Oh! Jeez, Marta. Either He's got way. a good hand, Marta. Don't tell me I've come walked into Kings or something again, have I? I haven't had a count there. Oh, it's this like does surprise one. me, Grub. I don't know about you. Yeah. This is a misstep. Because. Surely have to have the best hand. You would what does he think he's beating with A7? And no matter what he is beating, he can't be that strong a favourite. Maybe the shrewd thing would have been to sit back and. Watch Adam Clones get knocked out as it is. An ace would pretty much win this tournament for Damian Martin, it would, you would imagine. But I could see Shane Warne being heads up and a massive chip leader after this hand. Yes, this is going to script. Come on! For Shane Warne. Take the heartache out, there's two tens on the flop. Oh, come ten, on. Ten, I'm greedy. Two. Ten, ten. Uh, ten, ten. Ace is always coming. Oh. Well, king. That's an action flop. A king would give the straight. Ten. ten. The, the board pairs, it's all over. Four house will reign ten. supreme. What's he calling king? Ten. King. 
Hearts not, so, heart's not su such a massive problem because it's against clones who is only in a small side pot. Yeah, a nine would chop it. Ten. Full house for Shane Warne. Tens full of jacks, and that sends Adam Clones back in third place. He'd be very proud to have got a point for his country. Yeah, I think this online qualifier thoroughly enjoyed himself playing against his idols from back home in Oz. And I tell you what, he really did play the team player, didn't he? There's our chip leader, the Australian captain, Shane Warne over half a million chips. Facing him is Damien Martin. It's batsman against bowler. Western Australia against Victoria. <coughs> Damien Martin still in this with nearly 300,000 chips. Good luck, Mara. Good luck, mate. Cheers, Bill. Well done. Well done. They have won the test match, but of course they're playing not just for individual pride, but for the chance to donate $2,000 to their charity of choice. Damien Martin has the button and heads up he will be first to act. Suited ace four. I'll call and raise. Call and raise, raise or just mm. raise? Oh yeah, raise. So. Right. How much? 60,000 total. That's good stuff. Cool. cool. Strange call. This could be over quickly, Grub. Well, Shane Warne obviously thinks he can outplay Damien Martin post-flop. He's probably right, and there's two clubs for him there. But the ace high is still winning. There's a strong favourite. I'll check. Check. God, Damien, shift it all in. Stick the lot in, man. 120,000 out there, it's yours. Aggression check. wins the day. OK, check, check. Free card given out. Yes. And he's dodged the club there. Another chance for Shane Warne to bluff at this. 60,000. No real help from that board for Damien Martin. But is he experienced enough to know that his captain is slinging him a line? No, he's not. An advantage Shane Warne. 160,000 in that pot at the end. He stretches his lead. He's roughly 3 to 1 leader when it comes to chips. One decent hand could see this over. This is what we suspected. Aggressive play from Shane Warne in a heads up situation. It's a very strong favourite, not just because of that chip lead, because of the fact he will not take his foot off the gas. Warne to act first. There you go, check seven, raise, no messing. 100. Raise to 100,000 total. Like a school ground bully, isn't he? Yeah, I'm just getting bullied around. <laughs> Damien knows it as well. He knows it, but he can't do anything about it. Thanks. And that is twice he has folded the best hand. Artist Jocelyn Goldsworthy recording this second Poker Ashes test. Certainly some skillful play from the man on the right behind her, Shane Warne. He is applying the Chinese water torture to his cautious opponent, Damien Martin. Oh, this is trappy. This is very trappy. Big hand, well disguised, trying to induce a raise from Damien Martin. That didn't happen. This king is still good. Damien has a gut shot draw. Well, the Australian Seven. captain will take Ten. this down. Oh. And there it is. A pair of aces for Shane Warne. It was a short heads up, and Damien Martin didn't win a hand of it. He was really sent to school there by his captain. Well done, Australia. And as Shane Warne says, well done, Australia. Two tests up, three to go. They were a bit unlucky today. I'm sure they'll fight back in the, in the remaining tests, but... Um, Happy for Australia today. We, uh, we sort of stamped our authority on the table straight away today. That was the, uh, the tactics. Well, I think you're absolutely right. And uh, standing beside you is a man that made the points in both test matches. 
Yeah, not sure what happened there. It was, um, no, it was um, good. The first test, I mean, I think for the guys who don't play much, we're nervous and trying to get into the game, but learned a lot today, enjoyed it, and um, just good, just good to be up there playing well. And mm. I got a bit nervous at the end there, one on one with Warney. I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, the King Shane Warner's dished England an absolute hammering in that second test. Can Darren Goff and his boys regroup and come back stronger for the third, when, of course, it is win or bust for the Poms? We'll see you then, but from all the team, it's bye for now.